Hello, my fellow adventurers. This is Maluncha, and welcome back to New World. Today we are here in Cutlass Keys to make an intro for a quest we started, well, I think five days ago. Uh, it turned out to be a longer quest than I anticipated. So we took our time with actually completing our quest, and it is here down below with our favorite pirate. So yeah, without further ado, let's check out what this quest is all about. <laughs> Those worm-worn pirates won't recover from the blow you dealt them. You know, I've heard of something that might be useful in case they ever come back. What is it? When the first pirate crew arrived on Eternum's shore, the captain created a formidable set of armor to protect them from the horrors they discovered here. Armor like that is sure to defend, defend against more than just a worm's worn pirate and their ilk. So where is it now? Ah, that's what makes this a legend. Are we are we going on a legendary armor crafting quest? Because we did an armor crafting for epic for epic gear, and that was one hell of a long quest. So uh, yeah, no one knows the location of the original set of armor. It's said that the captain gifted each piece to members of their crew, but the patterns the captain used to make it remain. Oh, really? We're going on, on this quest again? So, what's the armor called? Shrouded Intent. Okay, I haven't heard of that one before, actually. There's a lot of speculation behind that name. Personally, I think it was because that old captain wasn't very. and wasn't entirely honest. Here, take this pattern and see if you can find what it takes to craft the armor. We are going on an armor hunt, guys. I wonder how long this is gonna take. Accept the quest. What do we need to do? Travel to pull patch cover in Cutlass Keys to collect a soaked pull patch leather. Complete the quest Obscured Footsteps. So, yeah. <laughs> We get a quest item shouted intent work order. So yeah, we are back on an armor quest, guys. This yeah, uh, kind of gonna repeat myself. But the last time we did an armor quest, it took us a whole bunch of while. So yeah, where do we need to be? Come on, full patch cover. Okay, let's uh, go check it out. We do have to remind ourselves that we are. In a lower zone, though, collect soaked pull patch letter from lost enemies. So, yeah, apparently we need to go kill a bunch. Let's switch our weapon so we can level it up a little bit as well. But, yeah, we're in a lower level zone. Last time the epic one was from Brightwood, I think. And, yeah, it was kind of uh, around level 45. So, I presume this quest is gonna be a little bit easier. Um... Uh, I'm not sure. We'll we'll have to see. Like, if is this quest gonna take us around the globe again? Like the previous quest will. We'll have to find out. So, but yeah, I'm gonna kill eight more people here. Bam! Last one. So yeah, you do want to go uh, downstairs because if you go towards the. Uh, the uncharted landmark so um let's quickly well yeah if you go to like the fortress you saw in the background where i started uh it doesn't count um the npcs there the last npc that i attacked basically didn't count you do want to go check the map where you actually need to be and we need to go to carl burke and weaver's fen to collect muffled fen pads all right so we arrived at Garburg, Garburg landmark, elite landmark. I know it's uh, this one that we have on our mini map, uh, and we need to collect muffled fan padding from lost enemies. So any lost enemies? Oh, we got a note here. I'm gonna pick that one up. So let's see. Chest. That's not an enemy. can't even count how many linen embroiderments I got. Yeah, it seems like all of them kind of have it. And I kind of missed my entire jab there. There we go. And it is a drop. So, yeah, I'm going to keep myself busy opening every chest and killing 12 more enemies. 
make sure that this muffled fan padding is mine. You can actually see what the next follow-up is for this quest. Yeah, it really makes me curious to see how uh, how long of a quest this will be and where where it's gonna take us. So yeah, let's get a move on and let's start killing. We go using one to kill the other. Bam! Twelve and thirteen. And the quest says we need to travel to Cutthroat Cavern in Restless Shore to collect Essence of Shadow. 2.3 kilometers away. Who do we need to kill to get some loot around here? It seems everybody again. Go. Let's help our friend out here again. So, 12 Essence of Shadow from Lost Enemies. Gonna be... Need to beat 10 more. Have I been to this cavern before? It's quite nice. Yo! Yo, with the interrupts! Yeah, that was kind of a nice drum solo. Bang, bang! Do, 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 do. <laughs> you can make your own music in this game. And last one. Come on, baby. Drop it for me. There we go. So obscure footsteps. Visit an outfitting station and craft the shrouded intent boots. Hell nice. We got all parts for the boots. That means we are going recall to in. Dexterity gear. Oh, look at that. We actually... Uh, durability again. <laughs> we actually were looking for uh, dexterity gear for our... Uh, well, a second a second build that we want to start. Uh, a bow build. Uh, definitely looking forward to these. Tier 4. I wonder if we are going to... Uh, well, upgrade them at the end again to epic. That would be really, really nice. So let's craft these boots. And there we go. No. Yeah, okay. So I equipped it. Didn't really want to equip it. Equip this one again. Well, I am working with... Strength intellect. Yeah, I'm kind of working with... Let's uh, at least lock these. <laughs> Before I destroy them. We are working with the rapier, right? And rapier is, if I'm correct, dexterity? Attributes? Yeah, look at that. The rapier is for dexterity and intellect. Okay, didn't didn't really know that. Well, you kind of need to be smart to use the rapier, so <laughs> in that perspective, it might actually work. How do they look? Okay, uh, pretty pretty okay. All right, where do we need to go? I think we need to go. Cloaked in darkness, travel to the ravaged wreck in Restless Shore to collect storm sail scraps. And we have Cloaked in Darkness quests. So, we're going to the Ravaged Wreck. That means we're gonna fast travel to the settlement. Ooh, this is already costly. This is also why I'm in uh, a queue for Outpost Rush. Kind of want to take one uh, during the gameplay. So, I keep my Azoth up to date. So, I can actually keep fast traveling. Because, uh, yeah, the, the reason the other episode just lasted so long was basically because of... I didn't have any Azoth, like, entirely during the entire quest. Maybe at start a little bit. But it was so much running around that it took me, what, was it 10, 13 hours or something like that to actually complete the quest? Simply because of all the running. And we need to collect them from lost pirate enemies, meaning we're gonna need to kill 14 these dudes oh yeah a little bit of a little bit of uh dexterity and we're already doing more damage i do have the uh gem slotted so the uh, arboreal uh that is converted to nature and the damage scales based of weapon stats or focus and yeah my focus is kind of still higher probably than my weapon damages so I'm, I'm wait let, let's quickly take a look at that 
So it says that it's from my... Because my focus now is 229. But if we look at my weapon... My weapon damage, base damage, is 498. Does that mean it's it's gonna scale? 50% is converted to nature damage skills of base weapon stat. So 50% of my focus is on top of the 498 damage? I think that's how it works? I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comments if you actually know how this, uh, <laughs> this works, this scaling. Uh, but yeah, we still need to kill 12 more, so I'm gonna keep myself busy again. And last one. There we go. Now we need to travel to... Uh, it's actually not too far, 800 meters. Uh, travel to Minnow's Revenge in Wrestleshore to collect a Blightbane Pitch. Okay, so another shipwreck that we're gonna need to run to. Yeah, 800 meters isn't that far. Rather misty here. And we're gonna need to kill 15. The number of people we need to kill is going up. If I uh, <laughs> understand correctly. By the end of this quest chain, we're gonna need to kill 115 people to actually complete a quest. Come on. And here we go again. Let's... Stop interrupting me. There we go. Two done. 13 more to go. Does seem like there's a lot of enemies here. So shouldn't be really an issue. Actually collect them up. And yeah, actually, if my, might actually be faster if I... Let's try this. We just run. Collect a bunch. Because we're doing AoE damage with the rapier, right? Let's do that. You follow me? Yeah, follow me, follow me. Yeah, you too. We have one more here. Yes, you too. And let's run towards this uh, spitter here. This might actually not have been a good idea. No, 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 no. You, you. Okay, let's fight now, now that we're actually healing while uh, killing. Yeah, this is way faster. <laughs> I was running from NPC to NPC, holy crap, uh, I didn't know the rapier had such a good AoE, actually. Alright, uh, yeah, uh, seven, seven, seven more. Ah, oh, the spitter isn't dead yet. We got somebody on top that's spitting at me as well. Ew, full of puke. Keep your diseases for yourself, dude. Six more. Let's see if we can gather six more together. One here. Another one here. Yeah, I don't think they can actually crawl up. Two over here. Go, let's go, let's go. Let's collect them up. Let's play some heals. And let's... I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get pushed off the bridge. Yeah, come on, come on! Come at me! Oh, I'm stuck behind something. I'm stuck between the two planks. I'm stuck between the two planks, holy crap. No, don't do that one, do this one. Yeah, this isn't going as smooth as I know. Oh, get up, get up. This wasn't going as smooth as I thought. Get your rapier back out. Screw you, I'll just shoot you with life staff. That's faster. Yeah, this wasn't really going as fast as I planned. Holy crap, we are stuck between the two planks. And grab, grab, grab. And last one. Don't get stuck again. Alright. Uh, yeah, 500 meters actually all pretty close tied up. Uh, cloaked in darkness towards the plundering shark. And, oh, okay, so it's a lower number this time. 12 kills for Hunter's Shark Clasps. Hunter's Shark Clasps. They look like belt buckles. Ah, uh, bombs. Okay, let's uh, kill 11 more Drowned Marines. And Lost Pistol Lyrae. Here. On guard!
Yo! And now we need to... Oh, go back to an outfitting station. Okay, that's pretty quick. Yeah, it might be just me. Um, that I'm basically level 60. And I have a lot more damage now than I actually had then. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna run this one. Kind of preserve my outpost rush again. 44 minutes. I can't wait for the servers to actually merge. And then kind of hope that people play... I post rush more than I think they are because it is a really good game mode. It's a really good PvP game mode. It's really fun. And it's a, it's such a good way to actually get Azoth. Like, I cannot understand that not more people are playing Outpost Rush. And while rambling on, I already forgot that 10 seconds before that, I kind of said that I was going to run the Restless Shore and not use the fast travel because I wanted to preserve my... Yeah, I didn't do that. I fast traveled. Like, that's how fast you can change your mind in games when you are basically not thinking. And Shrouded Intent Goat. Oh, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. And what do we got? We got Dexterity and Durability, of course. But yeah. Might actually get extra bonuses if we can actually make him into epic. So let's craft this one up. And of course we are gonna equip it as well. Alright, shrouded in twilight this time. Travel to Fornax in Restless Shore to collect Merc Moss Extracts. And that is 800 meters. Yeah, almost... I think, like, the only things we picked up were here in Cutlass Keys and all the rest... No, no, the... Well, Cutlass Keys, then we went to Weaver's Fen, and then basically everything else was so far in Restless Shore, so... That's actually pretty cool. The other the other quest just took us all over the place, like, all over the place. This, this is pretty okay. Yeah, Outpost Rush. Holy crap, 360 coins, 250 Azoth for a win. Let's see how I do it. Total damage 52, got two deaths, four kills, zero assists, I'm number one baby, number one! Check my performance, ah, it didn't count my healing, that's why the damage was actually in in the, the score itself, it didn't count my healing. Alright, let's see what we actually get from our outpost rush. Ice Gauntlets. And yeah, the uh, chest from Outpost Rush, as you can see, they do uh, scale with the amount of, like, if you up upgrade your watermark. Um, the gear that comes out of these chests is actually of your watermark. So that's uh, pretty good. But yeah, kind of trash drops, I do have to say. Still looking for a good Void Gauntlet to actually start checking that out. But we need to beat, what, 13 of these guys here? So, of course, I'm going to keep myself a little bit busy. Yo. Let's push through. Yeah, this might actually take a little bit longer than defeating the pirates. There we go. Last one. And uh, what do we need to do? Oh, Morningdale. Complete quest shrouded in twilight. Travel to Castleway Shore in Morningdale to collect castaway rigging. 2.13 kilometers. Where do we need to go? Oh, actually, yeah, at the shore. Oh. Wait. Shrouded in twilight. We need to be here. But I have a dude here with a marker above his head. Are you gonna drop what I need? Yeah, look at that. So, okay, yeah, this is definitely the fastest way to go to this quest, because yeah, if it starts dropping here, uh, you don't actually need to run to this location. All right, uh, what do we need to do? Cast away riggings from lost enemies, 12 pieces. Let's get it on. Come on. Dude, die for me, please, Mr. Berserker. There we go. Last one. And yeah, I thought I'd come inside here. Never uh, been here before. Uh, no, that's a flame. I thought it was a note. Anything up here, actually? Can't get up there. And yeah, there's actually, like... Two pirate ships stuck here in 
It must have been one epic flood to actually be able to put them in here. And there's a lot of gold nodes, but I don't really know where they are. So I got picked up like two here, and then there's three more there, one more over there. So it's actually pretty, pretty much. But there's actually a lot. <sighs> Holy, there's actually pretty a lot. What the hell of a sentence was that? Would that have been? Yeah, but I'm, I'm losing my words. So we need to travel to uh, Hades in Morningdale to collect Nightstone slivers. And where the hell is that? Oh, Hades. All right. Yeah, while we are actually here, I kind of wanted to check out this place. So it's Steven's Claim. It's basically the mine here uh, next to the settlement. And apparently there's like two brothers. Uh, we got Jason over here. And they should have a really good drop rate for a necklace or a ring. Now I'm not really sure. I'm gonna, gonna check out if we're actually lucky enough to... Well, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time here. Because I talked about this before. I kind of need to upgrade my my well, necklaces and, and uh, rings and, and amulets or earrings. Earrings was it, right? And apparently one of these guys, I'm not sure if it's Steven or if it's Jason or if it's both. They kind of have a yeah powerful potion. And yeah, there we got Steven. Apparently they have a good chance to actually drop it. Let's see if we're actually lucky. Can we make him come to us? There we go, that's better. Melee range, dude, melee range. And yeah, it does take a while to kill them, because 70, 74, but named NPCs, so their health is a little higher than normal NPCs, of course. Apparently one of these guys should have a quick drop. Yo, yo, no, 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 no. Almost noticed way too late. You almost killed me, dude! Come on! And powerful mana potion. And they should spawn... Like, pretty fast. Holy crap, I'm dead again, almost. So, yeah, I'm gonna stay here for a little while. See if I can actually make it drop. Um, a little bit of titty information here in the middle of the video and also yeah, like I said kind of need to have if it's a necklace or a ring both of them would be a better upgrade than the ones I have right now and apparently there's three brothers I thought there were only two and we got a yeah one called Alec behind here definitely want to make sure oh. we want Steven Steven Drop our loot. Looky, looky what Steven dropped. Morning fail. So yeah, that is the... And the chest. Yeah, I think I've spent... Oh, how long have I spent here? I think around 50 minutes. The chest is a one hour spawn, right? Something like that. I think big chests. One hour spawns and the small ones are like 45 minutes or something like that. Um... So, yeah, let's say 50 minutes. I killed them 20, 20 plus times at least. Let's check this out. Focus and constitution. Stamina recovery when you are hit below 50%. Gain stamina, 50% cooldown. You gain 8.3% more health from all incoming healing effects. Like, that is huge. And 2% physical damage absorption with a physical ward. <laughs> Alright, collect Nightstone Slivers from Ancient Guardian Enemies 14. We are gonna be a little busy. And yeah, we went from... What was it? 41 enemies to 48 enemies. So, time to kill is a little bit bigger. So one, 13 to go. Dang, and yeah, it was the last part that we needed to. So visit an outfitting visit visit oh, visit an outfitting station and craft a shrouded intent pants. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna take a little walk back to the settlement here in Morningdale. Hell is that outfitting station? 
Oh, it's a tier two. It's possible we can't craft it. Yeah, we need a tier three. All right. Uh, other plans. Recall to in. Yes, recall to in. Go shrouded intent pants. Dexterity. Two point one percent chance at rare items from chests or monsters. I think it it's giving the same same amount of stats than the other armor that we got from the quest uh actually gave because we had we had durability bonuses on it as well and we had the luck uh, perk as well on it so it's kind of giving the same same amount of random shit perks <laughs> i guess you could call it all right let's craft it there we go We're armoring a little bit up as well and then we get of course grasping at shadows so that's gonna be the hands for the next quest quickly yeah we're gonna we're gonna go all the way black and yeah we still need to check out the dying system in the game as well but i kind of don't well maybe i'm just gonna test it like I kind of was thinking like I don't want to waste my dyes that I collected so far, but I can always make more. It's probably super easy to make dyes. So uh, yeah, it might actually be something we check out in one of the next episodes as well. But for today, guys, I'm going to sit my ass down like I always do. Now cloaked in black. It looks, looks pretty, pretty cool though pretty cool anyway guys like i said i'm gonna wrap it up here if you want to see more of my quest progression or my let's play here in new world just hit that subscribe button it would always help out a lot i do hope you enjoyed this episode and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye